Hello. Before I start this little rant, I want to make it clear, very clear and unequivocal, that I am not, never have been, and most likely never will be associated in any way with the Insane Clown Posse, the Juggalos, or any other group such as that. It's very important that I make that clear for my own personal safety as well as for the fact that due to recent events that have been progressing over the last few years and have culminated in last year with the FBI's addressing and inclusion of Juggalos as a known gang, it, it's, it's pretty much in my best interest to do so. First and foremost, I want to explain something. If you are a Juggalo, and you're wearing your hat, your shirt, your tats, your little hatchet man chain, your giant hatchet man chain, or have midgets in clown makeup doing backflips behind you in a wagon you're pulling down the street, you have no rights. You have been cla if you are a juggalo in any way, shape, or form in the public domain, you have no rights. You are a gang member. Legally, whether or not you are straight edge, or a homicidal, genocidal sociopath doesn't matter. This is just the way the law works. So it's nothing personal, but that's the way it is. It's very important for anybody who's interested, anybody who's watching this video, to understand something. First off, you are what you are a part of. Your group represents you, and you represent your group. It doesn't matter how many millions of juggalos there are. All it takes is one douche waffle and some ridiculous clown outfit, some guy looking like a Ronald McDonald high on acid, to kill somebody or to commit a crime, no matter how large or how small, and the entire group gets looked upon as criminals. Now, a lot of it, and I'm not going to sugarcoat shit because sugarcoating and lying to yourself is one of the reasons why the majority of you are in the positions you are, is this. <sighs> guess I'll just be blunt. The world sees you and the band you listen to as a bunch of guys in clown makeup, doing drugs, committing crimes, being violent, and being a threat. Doesn't matter what your personal stance is, doesn't matter what you want to do or what you have done or have never done. This is what you're a part of. I can't make it any more clearer than that. First and foremost, you need to understand something. You now have to operate under a very different set of rules and behaviors than you're used to. You have been tagged as a gang member. That means if you are a successful business person or you're, you know, nickel and dime in it to get by, the fact of the matter is, no matter what happens, the police can arrest you with for probable, for probable, blah, probable cause, okay? Which means if you're walking down the street, they can arrest you. They have that within their right. And in certain places, such as Southern California and New York, that includes the right to fire upon you. Because even, no matter what happens, they can simply say, we had probable cause, they resisted, we were afraid for our lives or for the safety of bystanders, we did what was necessary. They'll get away scot-free, and where will you be? If you want to make a difference, if you want the family to be a family, not just the juggalos and the juggalettes, but to really be a family, you have to look out for each other. That doesn't mean doing illegal things. That doesn't mean running around and trying to do shit on the down low and everything else. What it means is you have to support one another. You have to support your communities. One of the biggest differences that can be made, one of the most important things that you can do is to change how the public sees you. In order to do that, it is very necessary that you, as an individual and as part of a group, as part of the Juggalos, do whatever you can to improve relations with the average person. Let's be honest. The average individual has, has maybe at most heard of Insane Clown Posse from Robot Chicken or Aqua Teen or from a news blurb here and there. They don't know who you are. They just see guys and girls in clown makeup. And that's a little off-putting, a little disconcerting. The fact that you're one of your most recognized icons is the Hatchet Man 
That can be taken as mildly threatening or potentially violent. So you have to understand that this is how the world sees you. And the only way to get the world on your side, to get people on your side and help to overturn what has been done and to fix the problems that are arising because of it, is to get the people on your side. You don't, you're not trying to convince the officer that you did nothing wrong. You're not trying to convince your lawyer, the judge, or the FBI that you're innocent. You need to convince the other 300 and some odd million people in this country that you're not the bad guy. And to be honest, you're fighting, you're, it's going to be an uphill struggle. It'll be a nice Sisyphean task to get this done. But that's the only option you have now. There are people that have been fired, that have lost livelihoods, jobs, careers, that have had their children taken away, and will never get them back because of this. And to be honest, you have no one to blame but yourself. Instead of when, as to the best of my knowledge, over the last five to ten years, it's been kind of known that certain groups were pushing to have ICP listed as possibly a hate group and have juggalos and juggalettes listed as a gang. Action should have been taken then. Not violent action, not intimidation, but benefits. Speaking on behalf of the group. Fundraisers, community works, projects, things like that. Nobody hates the group that goes out and cleans the roads and helps build shit and ferries meals to little old ladies that have no one else. People hate groups of people that feel self-entitled, that feel that the world owes them something, or feel obligated to be aggressive, vindictive, and threatening in the public domain. So it's very important that you understand that. Secondly, until such a date that the gang tag is no longer applicable to juggalos and juggalettes, you have to understand something. The laws are different in every state. The laws are different federally. But here in California, the laws are thus. If you are charged formally of a crime and you have been tagged as a gang member, you will, nine times out of ten, automatically receive the harshest offense, the harshest sentence for said offense. Now, if it's a violent offense, if somebody assaults you and you fight back, or you get in a fist fight in a bar, you will automatically, automatically, be given the harshest sentence. That's just the way it is. A speeding ticket, running a red light, failure to pay your taxes, any of these things can be viewed in light of gang support, of gang-related circumstances, actions, and activities. These are the kinds of things that will see thousands of people who did very little and oftentimes nothing wrong thrown behind bars for years, minors being expelled from school for wearing ICP t-shirts or hats or for any reason that could even remotely link them to that, that just creates more criminals.